Hello and welcome back to part uh, <laughs> 10, part 10, of course, uh, of Omori. Um, we are in the Spider Forest. We are still looking for Basil and uh, we might be heading towards the end of this little trip. There's a frozen sprout there. Uh, we are about to head into Sweetheart's Castle, Pink Castle apparently. Sprout Mole is just kind of not there. Same with these, they're kind of just shocked or petrified. This is very curious. He's all very dead. Turn back. This one says. So not completely dead. What's up here? That's a sound effect. That's not a sound effect. This is a spider, isn't it? Big fat spider. Oh, it's a caterpillar kind of sprout thing. That's interesting. Hi, ah, some cool music. Uh, let's make myself sad. Pink crawl, it's called. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just do a. No. Yes, do a normal attack. Then. Hero can do something else. Damage. Oh, no. Now Aubrey's angry. They're both angry. A sprout mole appears. It's in the back. Let's do some stabbing. King crawler. You do some headbutts on the king crawler. You do some. Rebound, why not? And we do some damage as well. How many full damage for a stab? 113 damage. This the snake, or oh, rather, well, King Crawler. King Crawler eats a sprout mole. Oh no, I have to kill it quickly. Yeah, okay, that's that's the thing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't really get a lot of damage though. Oh, heal a lot of damage. So, hero, I need you to cook for Aubrey. So she can do some headbutts. 106 damage. Hmm, do some more stepping. Do some more headbutting. Do some more attacking. Do some more healing. That was an AoE. Actually. Oh no! 
my main damage dealer. Oh, 13. Kill will also attack because it's almost dead. Everybody will attack. Another Sprout Molly appears. Let's see. Oh, okay. Why did it die? No life left. I'm gonna attack Let's go. Victorious! Ooh, that's a lot of XP. Sprout mold masks. Tofu. Lucky slice. Aubrey didn't get a level up because he's toast. The world seems to be back to normal. Let's snag up some Aubrey. And then uh, Omori got a new skill. Omori's happy. That seems fun. Okay. Well, now we're here. What does that say? Sprout Mole Village. There's a Mary at the bottom. A sweetheart's castle entrance, I think. These sprout molds are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. Hee hee, says Mary. Do you know sprout molds really love tofu? I bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. We've got tofu. Ah, yes, some juiced tomatoes. Tomatoes. Well. I would like to save. According to um, how long to beat, we are halfway through the game now. Table full of merchandise from an obnoxious looking person. Oh yeah, that's a sweetheart. Sprout Mold says, ah, hello strange looking Sprout Molds. Are you here to see Sweetheart's quest for hearts? If so, you'll come to the right place. This sold out extravaganza spectacular will be sp starting in very shortly. Wait a second, says Aubrey, I know this show. We have front row show tickets for it. Ah, I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardship of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama. She did as well. This is going to be so fun. Can't wait to be swept off my feet. Hero says, I don't know. Yes, it looks interesting. But now it doesn't seem like the right time. Aubrey says, but you promised we could earlier. Please, Hero, we'll at least check it out. Please, 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 please. Well, says Hero, all right. Hopefully this won't take too long. Ahem, says Bradmon. If I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, yes, of course, Mrs. Brad, sir. Says Oprah, we have our tickets right here. Aubrey reads into your pocket and took out the show tickets. Here you go, Mr. Sprout Bowl. Oh, oh my. Can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You, you all must have made some great sacrifice to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprout molds I've ever seen. Please enjoy your front row seats following fellow normal looking sprout molds. Let's go the other way first. Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. Says the that sprout mold. This guy got a quest for us. Or gal might be. Family mold says we sprout molds do not dare leave the colony ever since the great move. It was a hard time. Many of us, us didn't make it. 
Sprout moles were getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Oh, the horror. I mean, at least it's all okay now. For the most part. I hate Mondays. Brother Mole says, Hey, yo, you there? You creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in the Sprout Mole colony in other world. I want to save my care package, but... I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver this for me? Yeah. Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Here you go. You got a care package. Make sure it gets to him safely. I shall do that. That is one cool looking sprout wall. Dance mold. This wall is nice and cold. Student mold says, hey, look at this cool thing I drew. He's gonna, he's gonna get far, and down the corner is the ghost-looking thing. Mm. The other student mole says, "Do you think we'll still all be friends after we graduate?" Despite all my rage, I'm still just a mole in a cage. Oh, okay. That reminds me of a friend of mine. <laughs> Teacher mole says, "I have no idea what I'm doing." This room is occupied. I cannot be disturbed right now. No humans allowed. This room is for sprout moles only. Double mole. We are two. We are one. We are twan. Sous chef mole. How dare you speak such blasphemy. It's only common knowledge that tofu is better than when served hot. Are you mad, says the other sous chef mole? Any sprout mole with decent sense knows that tofu's better when so cold. Hero says, hey, there's no need to fight. Why don't you two come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold, like, I don't know, lukewarm? Ew, says the sous chef mole. Lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu is better than that. Lukewarm tofu? I want to throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. <laughs> Chef Mole says, ah, yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about the best culinary feats in sliced bread. Tofu, yes. This magnifique. Here's your tofu trivia for the day. Firm tofu can be stir-fried, baked, cubed, and just about anything else. This is because it can retain its shape. Damn, I'm yawning today. Retain its, retain its shape and still absorb flavor. If you wish to know more about the amazing and majestic tofu, feel free to talk to me again. Ho ho! I shall learn another fact about tofu. It is the same fact. You randomize it, might have messed that up a bit, actually. Tofu. Hello, sir or madam, says Tofu Jash. Would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? It will cost you exactly one clam. No, thank you. I respect your decision. It never hurts to have tofu on you at all times, says Sprotmo. I know I've gotten out of plenty of sticky situation with tofu. Okay, I'll buy some. Let's buy so we have four at least. Everything down here seems to give us tofu, at least. Beautiful mole says, look at me. I'm truly the most beautiful sprout mole, am I not? Let's walk to this village. Why couldn't the bicycle, bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Excellent. You record a joke in your joke book. Sport Mole says, huff, huff, huff. It's Christmas down here. Box Mole says, Christmas is my favorite time of the year, so why not just celebrate Christmas all the time? There's snow outside. Do you want to cut the Christmas tree? No. I don't want to cut his Christmas tree.
Major Mole Jr. So hard to get a good night's sleep lately. If only had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. Bird Mole says Squawk. Flamingo Mole. Family Mole. Sprout Moles, while in children, are also very obsessive creatures. As you can see, I lack any semblance of self control. Read all the flamingos. Swish, swish, swish. Mrs. Flamingo, Gra, the humble abode of Rosa. Gra, Gra, the number one sweetheart fan in the world. Well, I've seen two of those now. Winter mole, ah, winter. It might be, it may be snowing outside, but the winter is time for friends and family. Cuddling next to a warm fire, sharing stories, sipping on a hot cocoa, and most importantly, taking a brief after a long year. Winter is the best season, don't you agree? Mm, yes. Indeed, winter is the best season. The agreement brings me great joy. Please have this gift. Winter is the season of giving, after all. I got a scarf. Paul Mole says, I see you have tossed your favorite way of winter. You will receive no gifts from me. Oh, they're all going to say that, aren't they? Jim. Warden Mole, faster men. We must push ourselves to the limit and strive for a prize tomorrow. Huff, 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 huff. I think they're making electricity. Very large, happy outlet. What's with all the random floating mirrors? Can I give this guy a scarf? No. Have we been in where now? A lava lamp. Do you want to cut the wire? No. I am work. Oh, it's Major Mayor Mole, not Major. I'm working on revolutionary technology that will change all life in the colony. Nay, the world. That's a creature. That wants to fight, apparently. Can't get through it. Oh. Cool music. Oh, so many loops. Hero do. The gas smells sweet. Oh, it hits hard. Oh, and it heals itself. Of course it does. It heals itself to fruition. Oh 
I'm always almost dead. I'm gonna run off of this. Is manic running away. Oh, there's a thing up there. Oh, I see. Oh, that guy died. And he is not bothered by it. Let's choose combo meal and life jam. That's not really worth it, is it? Time to go to sweetheart show. First, we eat some apples. Juice, tomatoes, of course. I'd already forgot. You ain't afraid to feel like Neil. Please enjoy your front row seats. Escaped exactly like the the church, almost. Aubrey says, wow, look at this huge stage. It's just as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like the show is about to start. Are you ready to take your front row seats? Yes. Proud Mole Mike. Ladies and gentle moles, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Heart. Hold the applause. Before our show, we want to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Ye Old Sprite. Or oh, the Old Sprite, as it would be. He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment in silence of me in memory of him. May he rest in peace. Wonder if I killed him. And now on to the show. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. My favorite princess, once again, fails to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we've run up three new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now. Contestant number one is a local of Sprout Mole Village. She's coming in at three feet, three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu, he has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one. <laughs> contestant number two is Yup, you guessed it. Also a local of Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirt laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two. And 
now for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from other world. It's like he just fell out of the sky in this room. Going to him and us that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily. We met him. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pulk. Okay, that's a word. Pulkritchin. Okay, pulk. Pulkritchinous face. Let's try that. Yes, you know who we're talking about. You see, all that is amazing and wonderful, and she's just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent, sweet her. Lightning strikes. Okay, we lost a contestant. Oh no, there's a blackout, says Aubrey. Now what do we do? I'll have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out, says Hero. I'm sure the Sprout Moles will get the power up back on in no time. Help! We don't know what to do, says the Sprout Mole that came out from behind the curtain. Another one came out and says, help, we don't know what to do either. Help! 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 Hero says, well, maybe just look around just in case. Chattering fellas. Yeah, okay, we, we can't even go up there. They just scream at us. Alright. Wow, I guess the blackout affected all of Sprout Mole Village too. Says Hero. Aubrey says, Hero, what do we do now? Hero says, don't worry Aubrey, this is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In case like this, we should probably be looking for some kind of backup generator. He doesn't have anything else to offer at the moment. Alright, we know where the power is made. Washing machine still going. Pick up the pace, boys. We must make haste, says Warden Mole. Sprout Mole says we're trying our best, Warden. It is as fast as we can go. That new treadmills here down here. Why isn't this working? I feel sick. Just keep running, moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Someone pulled the plug. This wire isn't plugged into the outlet. Plug it in? Yes. The light is back on. Why the same, moles? Hard work pays off. Now keep on running. Huff, huff, huff. Do you want to exercise with your friends? Okay. Kelly's going for it. But who pulled the plug? That's kind of interesting. Wait. Oh, but I could do it. Get all of them. Certainly getting warm in here. Can you guess the temperature that's currently in my apartment? Let's see. 
Oh, there's a man in a hat there, and a bow. Alright, what does it say? In my apartment right now, it's 28.4 degrees. With an outside temperature of 26. Don't you just love these probably insulated houses? Mustache Mole says, someone please help me. I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman. Yeah, you, yes, Aubrey. You there in the striped pants. You magnificent beast. Yes, oh, ho, oh, yes, you look like you, you do just fine. Huh, says Hero. Wow, well, uh, well, well, thank you, I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, says the mustache mole, will you help out a poor lowly mole? I am desperately in need of your service. Well, since you are so nicely, says Hero, how can I refuse? Thank you, thank you, thank you, young lad, says the mustache mole. You're too generous. Please come this way, chop chop. Wait, hold on, says Hero. Can my friends come too? Ah, yes, your friends. You're all here to see Sweetheart's Quest, yes? So you will all meet again soon enough. Now come, sir, we must make haste. Time is short. Hero left the party. Let's take our seats. But the show was to be chattering. Thank you. Greetings, sweetheart fan, says Sprout Mole Mike. We apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly, regularly scheduled program. During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragedy, tragic accident... Holy shit. Let's try that again. That a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. Oh. It is at this time we announce the sudden loss of Contestant 3. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. That's nice. That's some powerful words. But the show must go on. Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant, number three. Hailing all the way from the vast forest, it's our hero in Shining Armor. He's shaking. <laughs> Get this, guys. Hero's a real hunk standing at a whopping five feet seven. His passion includes baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. Now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pulchritudinous face. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she's just about set foot on this very stage. She's the one, the only, the magnificent sweetheart who says, oh, 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 oh. There she is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, she just keeps on going, doesn't she? An excellent entrance, my lease, says Sprout Mole Mike. Ah, yes, says Sweetheart. It is me. Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. The stupid, adoring fans scream. We love you, Sweetheart. Yeah, you're the best. Oh, ho, 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 says Sweetheart. Sprout Mole Mike says, Sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart values most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Do you, contestant number one, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant number one, what is your answer? Uh, says contest number one. Sure. I don't know. I guess. Playing hard to get, I see, says Sprout Mole Mike. What do you think about that? Responds Sweetheart. Mmm, just three feet tall? Asks Sweetheart. My, that's not, that's much too short. Send him off. 
to the dungeon. Hey, uh, what did you say? Ask contestant number one. The, the dungeon? Full of mean looking people coming in. Contestant number one screams, help me. Now on to contestant number two, says Sprout Gold Mike. Sprout, 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 Sprout Mobile Mike. We ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer, just answer truthfully. Contestant number two, will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, uh, sure. If that means I won't get sent to the dungeon, says contestant number two. My word, this one is very being offense me, says Sweetheart. Take him away, boys. He runs off. But gets caught anyway. Sproutmo Mike says, Contestant number three, looks like your last one's dead. I'll ask the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all. Do you, hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Hero says, Well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? My, says Sweetheart, this one, he's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? Is Sweetheart in love? <laughs> Sproutmo picks up the microphone and screams, what an exciting turn of events. This must be fate, a match made in heaven. Wait, but I just said... Ah, yes, yes, you'll do just fine, says Sweetheart. Now, what was your name again? Huh? Says Hero? It's, uh, it's Hero, ma'am. Hero, says Sweetheart, my hero. You must go to my chambers at once. Guards, I have chosen my suitor. Take him away. Guys, please do something, asked Bex Hero. Kel says, whoa, Hero's got a marriage sweetheart? I didn't see that one coming at all. Aubrey says, Kel, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? Asks Kel. I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ugh, Kel, you're so useless, says Aubrey. Hero, says Aubrey. You have to reject, sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits, says Sweetheart, sweetly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, says Hero. I don't think she's going to listen to me. Just do it already, says Aubrey. Okay, I'll try, says Hero. Excuse me, sweetheart, ma'am. Ah, yes, my lovely Hero. How can I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice? Say my name again. Wow, haha, says Hero. That's so nice of you. I mean, sigh, why do I have to do this? Ahem, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why, whatever do you mean, my prince? asks sweetheart, sweetly. I, uh, says Hero, is all really flattering me and all, but you know, we only just met like a few moments ago and, well, I have to reject your mm, offer. Oh, pish posh, says Sweetheart. Oh, don't be silly, Hero. I've never heard anything sillier. It, It's true, says Hero. I'm sorry, Sweetheart, but... I don't want to marry you. Sweetheart is very... Taking this very well, to say that. This, says Sweetheart, this is preposterous. No, this, this is blasphemy. You dare reject Sweetheart? Everyone loves Sweetheart, you hear me? Everyone. Send him off to the dungeon. Aubrey says, hey, stop right there. You can't take Hero, he belongs to us. What's this now, says Sweetheart? What is a non-Sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Ah, I see. You must be Hero's fans. The nerve of you lot. First you make a fool out of me, then you interrupt me doing my own show. 
I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Guards, take them away. So many guards. Kel says, now you've done it, Aubrey. We have been dungeoned. Maybe Basil's down here. There's a ramen toilet. toilet. Ah, man, says Kel. Now we are all stuck in the dungeon. Hero says, sorry guys, it's my fault that we're all in this mess. No, it... No, it's not Hero, says Aubrey. No one could have predicted what that would happen. Oh ho ho, says Sweetheart, I think. Oh, the mustache man. Apparently, mustache mole. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho ho ho, shut it. You fools! Don't you recognize me? Rosa, it's me! The mean sweetheart number one fan. Rosa! The number one sweetheart. <laughs> yes, said that. <laughs> I told you that you'll all pay for crossing me. Kill says, Curses, we've been bamboozled. I should have known you were behind this, Rosa. It's true what they say, says Rosa. Revenge is sweet. Now rot, you peons. Rot in the dungeon forever. <laughs> Dang it, says Hero. How are we ever going to get out of here? We'll find a way, says Aubrey. Come on, guys. Let's think about this. Where do we even start? Asks Hero. It's not like they'd just leave the gate unlocked, would they? They probably did. I have to fight that guy out there. It is unlocked. This looks like a job for Aubrey. You got tofu. Let's hide. I got ramen from the toilet. This is a fun looking dungeon. Just check over here first. Flamingo. Mason Flamingo, the Royal Bath. Remind that the pool must be refilled regularly. Hmm, that's something. This is not fruit punch. That is most likely blood. I am sneaking about. The gate won't budge. This one will. Up up boxes. Nourishment. Vanity, but the mirror looks especially unflattering. A telescope, but the lens is covered with tape. Bunch of books, but all the pages are glued shut. Why is this place? Let's tag in Aubrey. Miss Flamingo, a special hell for you, my dear. Signed, sweetheart. Got tofu. I have to wait until the guard's gone. What is this song? Should it go down or into the depths? By the drop door. Oh, okay. Let's try.
I have no idea if this is needed. Ooh. Okay. We can run. I don't need them. He's chasing us something fierce. Yeah, go away. You're not allowed in here. Damn it. Run! <laughs> the freaking... The freaking halberd is uh, taped to the guy. Oh, that means uh, he's gone from down here. Right there. Oh yeah, that was blocked. Okay, bastard. Do 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 do. Down we go. Can I go that way? Okay, we can't even go anywhere. Hey, it's Mary, says Kill. Mary, Mary, help us, we're stuck in a dungeon. Oh no, says Mary. There we go. Mary says, there you go. Now come here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. What is this? Pickles, we like to eat some. Bobbity bob bob. You and your friends feel like new. Let's have a picnic with everyone. Mary says, Hero, I have a question for you. Was there any chance in the world that you would have said yes to marrying, sweetheart? What? No way, says Hero. You know only I have eyes for you, Mary. Ew, says Kel. Ew is right, Kel, says Mary. Hero, that's not what I like about you at all, says Mary. What? It's not? asks Hero. Then what is it? I can't tell you, silly, says Mary. It would ruin the magic. Okay, I don't really get it, but whatever you say. Orby asks, Mary, you don't have to worry... Oh, not asks, says... You don't have to worry about Sweetheart at all. Sweetheart is the worst. I can't imagine anyone being in love with her. Wasn't she with Captain Spaceboy though? Asks Kill. Hmm, <laughs> says Aubrey. Relationships like that are just shallow. Can't compare to the real deal, like what me and Amori have. Aww. Aww. Damn. That's cute. Isn't that right, Amori? Yes. I can't say anything. Amori? Oh, I hate sometimes. A uh, silent protagonist. Part of the story, of course. Um, let's see. Can't really go anywhere at the moment, can we? Can't exhaust our options. Over here. You got tofu. Smuggler ditch. I got sent to the dungeon for smuggling. But old habits die hard. That said, I've got some choice goods for sale, patron. Interested in buying? Okay. These are expensive. Poetry book. Don't really need any of them. I can open it from the inside, of course I can. Um oh there, I see. Go down here, go there, do this, do that, open this, go in here. Hello, Sprout Moles. It's the contestants. Oh no, what are you go are we going to do? No one ever no one ever escapes the dungeon. Oh, he says the same thing. 
it is not alive. This skeleton is not alive, apparently. Let's get these pottery vases, vases. That way. We can go this way. Is that Rosa? Is that someone else? Oh, it's prisoner mode. Rosa, after countless failures, I've already all oh, I finally almost made my escape. All I need to do now is find the exit. You're kind of standing in the way here. Now we need to use Kel. What's up? I wonder if I can charm this fella. I cannot. That goes up to the area before. Now we go upwards. Oh, oh boy. Not alive. Up. Bones says, I've been stuck down here so long I feel like I can barely move a muscle. Eh? What's that face for? God damn it. There's a key in there. Tofu. Run, 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 run. Get in here. Now let's finish these off. Tofu. I feel like there might be something to this tofu stuff. Later, maybe. The eye. Does it help our hangman? Nope. There's no eye in the below. Oh yeah, it couldn't be beach because we already have the E. Another hate stone. Hmm. Oh, the all the vases respawned. No. Go down and move it all around. Oh, that one's still open. Still not open, rather. Okay. What the fuck?
Alright, where are we at now? Oh, here. Cool. I could move forward. Clams. Ten more clams. Who puts money in these? 250 clams. That's crazy. Look there, says Aubrey. Twelves. We are finally at the exit. Woohoo! Freedom at last, says Kill. Let's get out of here, says Hero. I never want to see another sprout mole again in my life. Still no Basil though. Oh! Sweetheart's Castle! The dungeon. <laughs> what the hell? Harold screams, halt prisoners! Do you really think that you could escape that easily? It's back to the dungeon for the four of you. Down, says Aubrey, and we were so close to. Kel says, uh oh, what do we do now? Think, hero, think, says hero. Come on, how do we get out of this? Oh, I got it. <laughs> he puts out his mole hat. Oh, mask. Ahem. On the contrary, sir knight, I think you have mistaken us for someone else. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Hem, hem, says Kel. Don't be so quick to judge. We are sprout moles indubitably. Ho, ho, indeed. Ah, yes, quite, says Aubrey. The moles are love of tofu and sweetheart. Hmm, delicious. We, uh, mean tofu. A god, says Harold. My eyes must have deceived me. I apologize, brethren. It's rather hard to see through this helmet. Very well, well, carry on then, says Harold. I will resume my patrol. You lot ought to return to your stations as well, lest our dear sweetheart notices. Hmm. Huh, says Hero. How's that for some quick thinking? That was so smooth, Hero, says Aubrey. With these sprout mole masks, we'll be able to make it out of here in a cinch. Not a pitch. Kel says, do we really have to keep wearing these, Hero? Mine's getting kind of itchy. Yes, Kel says, Hero, we should keep them on until we get out of here. Come on, let's move. That bunny is on fire. Candle bunny says Pion. Is that a reference to uh, Spewed and the Beast with uh, the candle guy? No wonder. Mrs. Flamingo says the Royal Kitchen. Servant quarters. The Royal Ballroom. Mm, let's go in here. Cockroach. <laughs> Head Chef Mole says, Ugh, my dear sous chefs. I'm afraid my back just can't take anymore. It's at this unfortunate time that I announced my retirement. Sous Chef Mole says, But wait, she Chief. Why not Chef? Chief, without you, who will lead us in our task of baking a most magnificent cake for the main event? Chef Mole says, Sue Chef, it is now time for one of you to step up to the limelight. Cake must be baked today. Our very lives are on the line. Oh, yes, I hear you, Chief, says so Chef Mole. As the most capable one of us, I will volunteer and take charge of his task. I won't fail you, I promise. Hey, you there. You four are Sue Chefs now. Meet me in the kitchen pronto. Okay. Who are you? Who am I? Good luck. You're going to need it. Marsha says, We take our job seriously. Sweetheart's Royal Guard only accepts the best of the best. Therese says, Hey, have you seen Sir Maximus around? That guy owes me some clams. That guy got a wizard hat on. Lucius says, I've studied the art of combat my entire life. If you all work hard, maybe one day can, you too can become Lucius. 
Harold says, back to your station, you bees. We don't take kind of slaggers. What's this? Let's marry again. And with that, we finish this chapter. Oh, part rather. Knee deep in Sweetheart's castle, we end part 10. About halfway through the game. So that's it. See you next time. Bye.